What a great little spot. That hike took less than 10 minutes and we came to this just awesome little cove. The beach that's showing is really beautiful and we've got this place all to ourselves. Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome back to the Seychelles. This is our second full day on Pralin. This little apartment is starting to feel like a home because we've made a giant mess. We have laundry hanging up right here and Kevin is making breakfast. That smells amazing. Today we are renting a car. There are some awesome beaches we wanna check out. Pralin's not a very big island and this is our only opportunity to rent a car because on Ladigue there are no cars. It's basically you get around by bicycles or walking. So that'll be a totally different vibe. But we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna be on our way. We rented a car today to drive around the island. There is a bus that goes around Pralin that is very cheap, but we wanted the freedom of having our own car. And it was 40 euros for 24 hours, which I wouldn't say it's pricey, wouldn't say it's cheap. It sounds about right. Okay, so I am the one tasked with driving for two reasons. One, this is a manual transmission and Kelly can't drive a stick. And two, I'm the only one that has experience driving on the other side of the road. Normally I'm pretty good with either or, but shifting with the wrong hand and driving on the wrong side is a little tricky. This doesn't look like a stick. Oh, it's not stick. Oh, well forget about all that. It's gonna be super easy to drive. <laughs> These roads are pretty steep and this car is little. It's having a little trouble. Well, we made it less than five minutes before we saw a beach and decided to pull off, which sounds about right for us. That's the beauty of having your own car is you can just stop wherever you want. The buses may be cheaper, but it doesn't really give you the freedom. And we really like that freedom, so. It was totally more than five minutes. My butt's too wide for this swing. It's for, it's for tiny humans, not <laughs> full grown ones like myself. Still gonna swing a little bit, ah, just for the experience. Not much opportunity for parking or sidewalks here, so. We're just kind of winging it. I hope there are no spiders. Probably tons of spiders. <laughs> so this is one side of Cimetière Beach, or Anse Cimetière, as they say here. The other side is part of the Coco de Mer Resort. There are a ton of beaches on Pralin. We're gonna save Anse Lazio, which is like the most famous one on Pralin for last because it's on the west side and we figure it'll be a good place to watch the sunset. Not gonna lie, the uh, heat index is making this a little bit more difficult. <laughs> it's about 85 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels with the humidity like about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very warm, beautiful, but very warm. It just kind of zaps the energy right out of you. It's just a little further down the road. So while we were looking for a place to turn around, we came across an even more beautiful beach with a little pull off right here. So we're gonna hop down and check it out. Essentially today we're looking for beaches with those iconic red granite boulders that you see all over the Seychelles. And this beach looks like it has it. This 
beach is definitely beautiful. The water is just a little too shallow to swim in though. And the heat is really getting to us. But I think it's time to head over to the other side of the island now. How long have we been sitting here for? <laughs> Longer than we probably should have. It's really hot out and the AC is so nice. So we've just been sitting in the parking lot for a minute. We're gonna get out in a second. The side of the island we were on was way too hot, not enough breeze. So we're trying to cross to the other side. Uh, so we're like in the middle of the island right now, in the middle of the jungle. And as we mentioned in yesterday's video with the tortoises, Pralin is one of two islands in the world where the large coco de mer grows naturally. And we just stopped at the Valle de Mai. It's like a nature reserve park where they have the coco de mer and they also have black parrots on the Seychelles. We're a little scared to see how hot and humid it is out here in the jungle. They do have a cafe up there though, so maybe I'll get like a oh, that's nice. cold drink or something. Yeah, that sounds good. Here we go. I'll be a total tourist and get one of those spray fans that's battery powered that <laughs> you can pull water into. <laughs> that might make it worse though. No, you won't. No, you won't. He says he's embarrassed of me. They recommended bug spray, so I definitely brought that with me. It was 700 rupees for the two of us to go in, which is about 50 US dollars, so like about 25 bucks a person. We opted to go without a guide. You can get a guide, but it was a little pricey. For just us, it would have been another $70 or so. Okay, weather report, since I know I haven't talked about the weather enough in this video. <laughs> Still humid, but there's actually like a breeze and we're in the shade, so it's not that bad. I'll say that. And it's very cool. It's almost like primordial. Crazy. The, oh my God. The leaves on these things are huge. place is insane. I didn't do that much research before coming here and we just thought, oh, it's, you know, one of the popular things to do. This place is incredible. Like these palm trees, it's like being in Jurassic Park. The palm fronds or the leaves are like eight feet long. They're insane. It's like being in another world completely. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm just floored. I'm just the sweatiest Alice in Wonderland right now. I mean, we didn't know that much about the Seychelles, but we're learning so much. I just told Kevin, it's like the Galapagos that nobody talks about because there are so many plants and animals that are only found on the Seychelles. There are six species of palm trees that are only found on these islands, which is insane. And these coco de mer trees only grow naturally on Pralin and on Curious Island. I don't think I've ever seen leaves this big before. I feel like I'm in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. You have to be really careful where you step because there are some really nasty looking spiders on this trail. <laughs> I wish I could impress through the video how big the palm fronds are. They are probably eight feet long. Like the actual just leaf part is probably eight feet long is yeah. what I would say. It's hard to capture on the on the camera but they're, they're really big huge i don't think i've ever been this sweaty in my whole life <laughs> it's not cute all right we made it back to the amazing air conditioning of our car Woo. That was actually a really super cool stop. I wasn't sure that I was very interested in stopping there just because they're like, oh, these trees are cool. Yeah, I was very impressed. I was actually kind of embarrassed about how impressed I was. <laughs> <laughs> she geeked out on it a little bit. It was really cool. The, I mean, I've never seen leaves that big before and it was just a really different kind of landscape that's really cool. Yeah, and it was just kind of like seeing redwoods, how they're still trees, but they're really impressive. Yeah. And just the fact that a lot of species you find here 
aren't found anywhere else on Earth. I found super interesting. But we're gonna continue on to the other side of the island to the main attraction, which is Ans Lazio. That's the beach we really wanted to visit today. Driving here is not as hard as I thought it would be, but you definitely just kind of drive in the middle of the road because the roads are very narrow. And then you move over when a car comes. Oh my God. Or a giant bus. Piece of cake. I think this is the way. definitely the most crowded beach we've been to so far but it's like later in the day so I feel like most of the people have gone home so it's not too crowded the waves are bigger than any place I've seen so far Kevin has gone to scope out the food situation because we are pretty hungry after that crazy sweaty hike <laughs> what do you got there what <laughs> I saw this guy had like fresh coconuts and it said tropical fruit and I'm like what kind of fruit do you have and he pulled this out and I was like yeah I want one of those so this was like 14 US dollars give or take 200 rupees and it's got like passion fruit and bananas like grapefruit pineapple mango star fruit looks pretty good I figured this is better than chips and ice cream which is the other option probably true Wow. What a spread. We relaxed for a few hours, but we've heard that there is a smaller beach called Petit Ans Lazio or Lover's Beach that is not a very far hike, but kind of a steep hike just off of this one. I think we found the trail and I think we're gonna give it a shot real quick before the sun goes down. Oh, definitely recommend shoes instead of sandals, which of course we do not have. What a great little spot. That hike took less than 10 minutes and we came to this just awesome little cove. The first 50 steps of the hike were the hardest and the rest was pretty easy. Tide is very high right now, so there isn't a, much of a beach, but the little bit of beach that's showing is really beautiful. And we've got this place all to ourselves. can't wait for a shower tonight. Yeah. I stink. No joke, probably the sweatiest we've both ever been, ever. Yeah, for sure, like literally. Yeah, I don't think, I can't think of another time I've been any more sweaty. Totally worth it though. We spent several hours at that beach just taking photos and hanging out and then we decided to watch the sunset there. It was a great place to watch sunset and everyone else left. So we were there pretty much all by ourselves. We're the last car in the parking lot. But it's starting to get dark now and these roads are a little crazy and we need to go eat some dinner. So let's do it. Wow, I really need a shower. We also really need to eat dinner so we are almost back to our room, but we drove past this restaurant, which is open. Good sign. So we're gonna get some dinner. Of 
course, Kelly found a cat. I had to get the fresh barbecued fish because we're at the ocean, so I got white snapper with Creole sauce and rice. It looks delicious. I opted for the prawn stir fry, but I'm gonna steal a bunch of Kelly's fish. She just doesn't know it yet. This fish has teeth. So I'm being careful because there's a lot of little bones, obviously, but it's really flavorful. It's got a lot of uh, lemon flavor, and then there's like the Creole barbecue sauce, similar to what we had yesterday. And I'm just so hungry that I'm just devouring this. It's delicious, but I think anything would be delicious for me right now. All in all, with a big bottle of water, beer, wine, and these two dishes, it was 645 rupees. So that was a little bit of like 40 US dollars or so. Not too bad. I could pretend like I'm surprised, but I'm not. There are now three cats around our table. Animals like me, I don't know. What a day. We were both totally drained from the heat and humidity. It was so fun, but it was a struggle at times. No regrets though. Super glad that we explored Pralan the way we did. Tomorrow we're checking out and heading to Ladigue Island, but not before we make a last minute trip to what is considered Pralan's best beach. So you don't want to miss that. I think it's the best beach in the Seychelles, is what they say. We'll see. We'll make that judgment for ourselves. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and leave us a comment below. That always helps to support us. This is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. There's a big wasp thing. <laughs> it might be cooler, we're, we're higher up. Is that how it works in the tropics? I don't, I don't think so. It's not. <laughs> ah, stay hydrated kids, wear your sunscreen. We, that hike only took about that hike that hike so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our following adventures in the Seychelles our following adventures our upcoming adventures our just hit subscribe <laughs>